A client is admitted with chest pain and relieved by nitroglycerin, an elevated temperature, decreased blood pressure, and diaporesis. A myocardial infarction is diagnosed, which should the nurse consider as a valid reason for one of these client's physiologic responses. Number one, parasympathetic reflexes from the infarcted myocardium cause diaporesis. Number two, inflammation in the myocardium causes a rise in the systemic body temperature. Number three, catecholamine, catecholamines release at the site of the infarction cause intermittent localized pain. Or number four, constriction of central and peripheral blood vessels causes a decrease in the blood pressure. So the situation here is that you are the nurse and you admitted a patient with chest pain and they reported to you that the, that, the, that the chest pain is unrelieved by nitroglycerin. And when you check the temperature, the patient has a fever. Check the blood pressure, the patient has a low blood pressure, and the patient is sweaty. And you know that the patient was diagnosed with myocardial infarction, so what are you going to consider as a valid reason for one of these patients physiologic responses. So is it number one? Parasympathetic reflexes from the infarcted myocardium cause diaporesis. So I think not because diaporesis is caused by activation of the sympathetic, not parasympathetic nervous system and may indicate cardiogenic shock. And if your answer is number three, catecholamines release at the site of the infarction cause intermittent localized pain this is not the right answer because pain is persistent and constant not intermittent why because uh, chest pain is caused by oxygen deprivation and the release of lactic acid that's the reason why this is not intermittent pain but it is constant pain and if your answer is number four constriction of central and peripheral blood vessel or blood vessels causes a decrease in blood pressure um, again this is not correct because the blood pressure increases initially but then drops because there is a decrease in cardiac output so what's the right answer the right answer is inflammation in the myocardium causes a rise in the systemic body temperature why? Because temperature may increase within the first 24 hours as a result of the inflammatory response to tissue destruction. And it could persist as long as a week.